Oh, things are looking pretty encouraging. What about Richie? Told you he's ready for a return. Yeah, he won't be ready this week. No, he'll be right for next week. So you know, that's good news for us if we make it past this weekend. What's the final hurdle for him? What's what, what's holding things up? Just to have a good week of, of hard, intense training. He passes that this week with no irritation and all pain, and he'll be good to go. Just with Sonny, what's the background been there? At a pinch, could he be played last week or something like that? No, he wouldn't have been right last week. It's really, just really deep bruising on the, on the bone and obviously torn a little muscle just above it. But he's you know, he was, he's been healing the whole time. He had a good week. He's recharged and you can just see he's got that sparkle back in his eye when he wants to be involved. Um, so that's really good news for us. But he's, he looks like he's definitely going to be right for this week. Just uh, given that Sean returns, I mean, you've, you've had a guy there who's done a fairly good job actually, Brent Moore. Sort of helped you out of a gap to a large degree. Just gives you thoughts on that? I think he's just been immense, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Like to come in and, you know, for the reason why we've got Ward, he's, he's highly experienced. He, you know, will do his job, he'll hold his end up, he's not high maintenance. Yeah. You know, we don't have to worry about him making you know, a lot of mistakes. He, he understands the game plan, he's been around for a long time, he knows the Crusader environment. I just think he's one of the unsung heroes of this year. He's just come in and done a, done a fantastic job. Tell us, just summarise the debrief downstairs. What's the, what's, what, what are your thoughts heading into this? Just priorities. You know, within the, we, we have five big rocks, you know, five key areas that we prioritise and base our game on. And just to make sure like it's a really refining and a refocus for this week. What do we need to do to get a better outcome, i.e. a better performance and finals knockout ranking? So the guys just you know, obviously did a bit of a debrief and, and captured their thoughts and obviously refocused on what we need to do this week um, to get a good result. And your general thoughts about the weekend, was it a, a functional effort rather than a perfect effort? Uh, functional, I think it was mental as well. You know, we, it's one of those games where you, you know you've got to win the opposition I've got nothing to lose, you know, it was wet, tough conditions and you just got to get through it. Now that we've got through it, I feel like there's a whole mental weight that we've just shifted. Um, and now we're here, what we're meant to do, you know, all, this, all the, all the round-robin fixtures that get you into this position, now's where the real excitement is. So for us, we just have to get over that mental hurdle and refocus on what the fun and, and what we're here to do, and that's to win these games. Do you take much out of the Sharks game in Twickenham? Did you want it for this week or is it a different team? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a different time. Yeah, the year there's a lot of water that's passed under the bridge. You know, they, I thought they showed on the weekend at Loftus that they've got some character there and you know they've obviously got all their key players back and they're playing really well and you know they certainly won't be easy but you know to, to say that they'll perform like they did or they'll be the same team, you know, would be that a lack of respect and they're a good side. Do you sort of taper off the training, the physical training, as you build up to the finals time? Yeah, we're going to do a bit of a taper this week. You know, we'll, we'll still train, but it probably won't have the same intensity. We'll save that for the weekend, but we'll do what we need to do. But certainly this time of the year, you want to get the enthusiasm and the bubble and squeak back and, you know, get make sure that the battery's well and truly recharged and we'll do that. So we'll do what we need to do and we'll, um, we'll leave the rest for the Saturday night. Yeah. 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 Yeah.